The question that we've been asked is, say when I'm entering an office expense and states I choose the category and when I actually have a drop down, it gives me a lot of uh, codes that I can post to. But if I want to create a new one, how do I go about doing it? Let's say I want to create a new one just to categorize my office expenses on um, certain type of expense. Like for example, I'm spending a lot of money on stamps and I want to actually categorize that so that at the end of the month I can find out what how much do I actually spend on stamps. Now to do that, what you need to do is you need to create a new account. You can say new account, expense, and then you can make it an office expense. So you can say stamps and hit the save button. Now once you do that, what the software will do is it will take that stamps as a drop down menu into their office expense. So now if you go actually go under accounts, under expenses, under office expense, you will actually see stamps. And now the balance of that account will be zero dollars. But when you post an expense, you can say expense, office expense, and then you can drop down and pick stamps and you can say I spent $52 on stamps today. And you can say I bought it, uh, you know, at Staples or you can say Canada Post and you can say how did you pay for it. Maybe you can say I used my business credit card and you can say stamps for August. You can even put the invoice number and hit the submit button. As soon as you hit the submit button, now you'll see that the software will actually post a debit to that account. So to summarize, to create a new category under the action expenses, what you need to do is you need to create a new account. And to create a new account, you'll actually click on new account, expenses, office expenses, and then you'll create the category. Also note that you can never delete an account once it's been created. So we strongly recommend that you take your time, understand all the categories that you really want to create before you actually create them in ULOG.